family members call it a disgrace. Today, investigators were back at the scene where two people were killed by a rail runner after the brother of one of the victims made a gruesome discovery. This days after the crash. Now, we must warn you, some might find the story disturbing. News 13's Emily Younger spoke with the brother tonight. She's live in the Newsplex. Crystal, the brother of Luciana Cuellar, says he was looking for his brother's wallet today, but stumbled upon something else. A warning, some of the details in this story could be disturbing to some. I wasn't expecting to find what I did, but what I found was, um, it was outrageous. Outrageous. And now, Francisco Cuellar is upset that days after a crash that killed his brother, he stumbled upon some human remains at the crash site. 35-year-old Luciana Cuellar and his girlfriend were killed Friday by a rail runner train. Police say the two were on their way to work when they tried to speed through this railroad crossing. The rail runner train collided with the car they were in, killing them both. He's where he's supposed to be. God took him when he knew he could. Cuellar says he and his son went to the scene today to pay their respects and look for his brother's wallet. Instead, he says he found three pieces of flesh scattered in the ditch. There was a big streak of white, you know, where it got cleared with a car wrecked, right? And right next to it, those two big tumbleweeds, right? And uh, right on top of the tumbleweed sitting, I mean, you could see it. State police rushed to the scene that had already been cleared by investigators days ago. Police confirmed they did find one piece of human remains near where the car landed and told us that during crashes with this much impact makes the investigation more challenging. Cuellar says he's in disbelief. Why couldn't you take the time, you know? to show them respect, show them the respect and the dignity, the, the dignity that they deserved. The couple leaves behind a five-year-old and a five-week-old. Back to you. All right, thanks, Emily. Fifteen people have been killed by the rail runners since 2006.